Well, hello everybody and happy Monday. It is Monday, May 1st, and I have a question for all you drivers out there. What do you think would be the outcome if having that conversation with a law enforcement officer by the side of the road, you would say, but officer, I was only doing 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. It's not the 40 miles an hour that I was doing just 10 miles back. What do you think the outcome would be? How would that be interpreted? What do you think might happen? Well, that's one of my three points this week for the takeaways for Mark's Monday Minutes in Portland Real Estate. First of all, the sunshine came out. So have the new listings. That's a big plus, number one. Number two, many more signs of what is a normal market are starting to become visible, just like all those daffodils, the tulips that popped up, daffodils now, and the roses that are just around the corner. And number three, the price increases we're seeing this year are more normal than they were in 22. I'll explain all three of those as we get through this. First of all, the week of May 1st, the number of active listings, 2,830. We are almost back up to our 3,000 that we were at at January 1st. Yeah, we've been trying to dig ourselves out of this hole of just not having new listings, but it looks like we are. This week we had 508 new listings in the last week. It's the second time this year that we've had 500 listings just two weeks ago. We had 522, then back down to 488, and now up to 508. This three-week average of just over 500, the last time we had 500 new listings, that was back in October, September of 22. So it's good to see the new listings coming to market, just like the flowers coming up in your garden. The number of pending homes, 448. The number of sold homes in the last week, 388. Again, those sold homes went into mark under contract 30 to 45 days ago. What was interesting this week, a little bump in the number of homes that had a price adjustment of $99 or more in the last 45 days. These are probably existing homes that have just been sitting out there and just felt the pressure they needed to make an adjustment, just like jiggling that bait in the water to get your attention. So a little bit more, but we're still only below, we're still below 19% of total listings. Nationally, we're sitting at about 31%. So Portland is better, if you will, than the national market. The number of coming soon listings, currently 48. Last week we were at 56. So eight of those listings that were coming soon came onto the market and thus contributing to that 508 number, over 500 new listings in the last week. The number of homes sold in the last month, 1,498, giving us a monthly supply of roughly 1.9 months of inventory. For the last two weeks, we've been sitting at 175. It's still roughly seven to eight weeks worth of homes that if we had no new homes, that's all it would take, seven to eight weeks at the current rate of sales to put every house under contract. Interestingly enough, nationally, the current ratio right now, 29% of all new listings go pending in the first week. So what does that say? Sellers are solidly in the, in the driver's seat. Buyers, you had about a three week window back in February. We're not seeing that again. That's a function of market numbers. We'll touch on that. The four car garage home, my favorites, the affordable under a million or the affluent over 1 million. 109 homes currently on the market, 35 of which are under a million dollars in that affordable category. We had five new homes of the four car garage this week come on the market, two of which are under a million dollars. We had six go pending, same two, not the same two, but the same number, two homes under a million dollars with a four car garage went pending. Five recorded sales, one of which was under a million. So the last 30 days, the last week actually, is doing pretty well for the affluent homes, which has been a change because we, as we hear about interest rates and concerns, that's actually some, a good sign that that part of the market is still reasonably strong some to expect. It's still about five to five and a half months worth of inventory of those multi-million dollar homes based on the current rate of sale, but that's okay. That's where they've really been sitting now for about seven weeks. So it's consistent, if you will. The under a million dollar homes, we're sitting at right at five months worth of inventory just because we've seen more of the homes out there. They just haven't been moving off the market. And I can tell you because a significant number of those 35 are actually homes that are listed for development. It's not a house with a nice shop. It's really, here's a property with a barn and it has four parking spaces, but you're gonna scrape it and put up a development of six homes. There's more that seem to be that way in the last two weeks. Now, let's get to those three takeaways. The sunshine came out. You saw it on Friday and Saturday. Wasn't that glorious, sweaty, 
I got my first sunburn of the, of the season, you know, it's kind of back in the back of my neck. Why is it, why was that? Well, because guess what? Spring showed up and it, just like that, the new listings came out. Our inventory normally would start to build in middle to late February. This year, it's now waited here until the end of April. The, as I mentioned earlier, the last time we had 500 or more listings in a week was back in mid-October and then trending back into September. So we're finally playing catch up five, six months later, yeah, it's taken that long, but this is good. Buyers now have a little more opportunity, a little more choice. Second point, signs of a normal market activity are signs which are good. Well, we're still limited by inventory. That's the cap. That's limiting how many sales we're going to see. The buyer activity is reasonable and normal. It fits our typical curves. I can't really show it here with my hands. I'd have to get fancy with Excel. But last week was the highest number of pending homes in Portland since last September. So the buyer activity is continuing as the listings come up, so is the buyer activity putting homes under contract. So these are signs of a normal market coming back up to full strength. Now, that third point, as I said, that conversation with law enforcement, you have seen and you're going to see this probably all the way into about July, you're gonna see those headlines screaming, prices are lower this year. No, it's not lower prices, it's the increase in prices. Price increases are lower this year because last year at this time, price increases were in at an 8% rate. That's because so many people were writing multiple offers, 50, 60, 70, $100,000 over asking price. That was just pushing those prices much higher. Well, right now, this year, we're seeing a 5% increase in price. So technically, that price increase rate is lower. So although the headline is correct, it's the same analogy of, but officer, I'm only doing 20 miles an hour over the speed limit. Aren't I doing a better job of almost following the law than 10 miles back when I was 40 miles an hour over the speed limit? The fact is, you're still speeding. You're still gonna get a ticket. Seller, still gonna make some profit. So think about it, but at the end of the day, be a good citizen. Be responsible when you're driving. And of course, as you have questions about real estate, call me, Mark Scholes, 503-703-0618, right there on the sign. Have yourself a great week. Go work in that sunburn. We'll see you next week.